Hope you got a case of the munchies because we're heading to the multiverse. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. It's hard to believe, but today is our season 18 finale. Yes! We did it. We made it through 2020. Woo! Well, almost. We still got a couple of weeks to go, but we want to thank you for making us a part of your daily routine. As strange and unroutine as those days have been this year, we couldn't and wouldn't have done it without you. Yes, I agree with that. I'm so glad that you said that to them. Yeah. Because if you didn't say it, I was going to say okay, it. Okay, well. But now that you said it, I don't to need it. to say it. Before we do say goodbye and go rid it to 2020, we wanna make sure you do come back next week because we're gonna have five fresh new episodes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be looking back at the top five memorable moments across a number of categories okay. all next week. Okay? I'm so glad you said that. Okay. Because if you weren't gonna tell them about next week and the memorable moments, you I was to gonna do it. say it. Right. Okay, to close out our season, we decided to travel to another universe so we can get a little vacation from ours, but also to try out some of their snacks because as the late, great Carl Sagan once said, the nitrogen in our DNA, the calcium in our teeth, the iron in our blood, the carbon in our apple pies were made in the interiors of collapsing stars. We are made of star stuff and sometimes star stuff tastes pretty dang good. Is that what he said? Uh, yeah, but don't look it up. It's time for part nine of Multiverse Munchies. Y'all know how this goes. We have rocketed through the multiverse, brave strange parallel civilizations, and returned with snacks that do not exist here in our dimension. We hold these interdimensional snacks to the same high standard as our own normal snacks, which is why we're gonna try each one and decide if it's from a delicious dimension or if it's a snack of finchin. And we're gonna start with what some call the greatest snack of all time, the Oreo cookie. Two simple chocolate cookie discs with sweet cream in between. And just when you thought it couldn't be more perfect, the double stuff came along, double the cream, Ooh, double the pleasure. Look at that. Yeah, but there is another universe where they knew not to stop at doubling the pleasure. They decided to buy centuple it. Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it took a while to bring this thing back but we are happy to present to you the bicentuple stuff Oreos. 200 <laughs> times the pleasure. So you're telling me, because we haven't opened this, we just took the beans in this particular dimension's word right. for it. This is one cookie? There is one cookie in here. <laughs> As you can see, there's, you know, you got, well, you technically, got, two cookies and a, a bunch of, of cream in between. And if, you, and if you look at the back, I just want to direct your attention to the caloric intake, one cookie, yep. 3,436 calories. Hey, daily value of many different things. Okay, so let's let's drag this puppy out. Yeah. You ready? Yep, okay. Oh, it's sleeved. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh. There's the other end. So you got the cookie, you got the cookie, you got the cream. It feels like it might Need I mean like if you were just to oh, oh gosh, gosh. that I mean, is a that is on. a white let's log. See if, let's see if we can stand it up. You you you, you grab. Okay, okay okay oh oh you you keep, keep it. You got the top? Can you grab? What what can, wait, can wait, you, what no I don't have anything. What can you hold the whole thing? What what do you mean hold the whole thing? You got it? Yeah yes. Because I, I got a special surprise because yes, you remember yes, the other yes. thing they told us they told us that they really like to dip these in milk. Ugh. Now, if we, <laughs> oh, well, oh, if we, yeah, uh, if we, if we uh, what? Do you want me to grasp it? it, it mm. oh, what, what do you want me to do? Uh, what, what do you want me to do besides grunt? I, oh, yes. Now, be gentle. Be gentle. Be gentle with it. Be I'm being gentle. Be gentle with it. The, the milk itself is. Oh, we don't want it to be in there too long, though. No. Go, Go, and go. usually it's about getting the cookie in the in the, <laughs> and the cookie is in there. I mean, till till do this, we, till this, till this. Why are you tilting? Til, til, so it so it can lean lean against the back. Do you want it to go all I all the way? I mean, at this point, all the way. Oh, oh, oh no! no! <laughs> the, the cookie. Okay, right, well, it's been dipped. It's been dipped. I think right, we got to now. We got to come back out. We got to come back out. Got to come back. Okay. Out. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. 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 Okay. We've 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 made a successful dip. Have you got it? Have you got it? Uh, Have you got it? Got it? Wait, which part? The the, the the cup. I've got the milk. I got the milk. Okay, I've got the I've uh, got the no. You got the cookie. You got the cookie. You got the cookie. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, man, it's, it takes a lot of time to share an Oreo in this place. <laughs> and but it is shareable. Okay. All right. And so I think you just I think you just pick you pick out what, how much cream you want, and you just come in there and you go and you do it. That's how much I want. How much do you want? Uh, and you you got to find a way to get your mouth. I think I'm just gonna go dink it. I'm gonna go sideways. And sink it. It's very creamy. Lots of cream. It's so creamy. I feel like I gotta wash it down. I mean, you telling me? I feel like I'm about to like call. I'm in like a Ricola commercial or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ricola. Hey, hurry up, man! I need, I need some help. It's like a snow log. Oh, here. Hands free. <laughs> you good? You good? Yeah. Oh yeah. That wasn't easy, but it was incredible. That's part of the fun of it. I mean, that's intense. That's like that's like logging. <laughs> Bison tuple stuff Oreo. Mm. Delicious, Delicious dimension. dimension. In our universe, Tic Tacs and Takis are two very different things. But yeah. in another universe that we visited, fire breathing dragons have taken over and they're burning everybody alive. So Tic Tacs and Takis have merged to create Tic Takis. Tic Takis. These give you such a fiery breath that it tricks the dragons into thinking you're one of them. Yeah, Th these are the type of things that we're braving on your behalf in order to introduce you to these snacks. I mean, it's 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 not easy. Oh yeah, there's a couple. Now my my father-in-law always seems to have a tic tac on him. My dad was a tic tac man. Was he a taki man? I didn't know about taki. I didn't know about taki until I went to uh, the West Coast. Six Flags, and there's a roller coaster sponsored by. That's them. right. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna. No, I knew about it before then. I'm gonna toss one back. That hit my tooth and kind of hurt. That's why I'm just gonna do this. Imagine a Taki, but smaller. And that's pretty much it. In a Tic Tac container. Here's the real test though. Pretty, pretty great. Do they do the same thing that Tic Tacs do, which is to cover up stank breath? I've got some very fancy Limburger cheese. You know you love it. I don't. Uh... Very. It smells a lot worse than it tastes. It's yeah. It's it's quite stinky. I will go so far as to call it cabbagey. Your breath immediately is like your whole mouth is coated. Ugh. So let me get a smell. Just. Oh. Okay. <laughs> let me get a little bit more. Me first. You first. Oh, it's still awful. <laughs> it's so, yeah. Mm. That's not good. It didn't really do the job, but I mean, they taste great. But Takis. <laughs> Snack of mention. Didn't do it. Now, if you're intrigued by these multi-dimensional masterpieces, you should stop by the Mythical Kitchen channel and yeah. give your compliments to the chefs. Yeah. They got recipe videos airing every week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, as well as a controversial food podcast that releases every Wednesday. It's called A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. And in a recent episode, they discuss whether or not bacon is overrated. Talk about controversy. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get back to this. Um, I think what our universe lacks in almost every dish is a chance to get the blood flowing. Mm -hmm. Just my opinion, but hey. This is my show, at least this half of it. <laughs> Our show, man. <laughs> this half of it is my show. Uh, okay. So while we have delicious Hawaiian dish, the poke bowl here in our universe, which I've actually grown to like. Grown. Uh, in another universe, they got a more interactive option, the hoke poke bowl. What? Uh-huh. Yes, in this universe, it's tradition that everybody eats and dances at the same time, you know, to work off the calories as they are digesting them. Yes. So, in order to not offend them, we must eat the poke bowl in a very specific way. Stevie, um, walk us through the hoke poke bowl assembly so we don't miss it. Yeah, because I okay. remember during our trip into this uh, dimension, Stevie, you seem to be the one who was really listening. Yeah. Well, I stole a menu specifically only for one kind of poke bowl. So I'll read that recipe to you. Yeah. But okay, you have to okay. follow my instructions exactly. Okay, okay, here we go. Yep. You put your salmon in. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I'm going to need some, I need, I need you to move quickly here. You okay. take your salmon hand out. 
you put your seaweed in. Yeah, yes. So far, it's got the stuff that I don't like in a, a And you shake bowl. it all about. You make the hokey pokey bowl and turn yourself around. Oh. Too, 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 you like that, huh? And that's what poke is about. All right, yes. You put yes. your cucumber in. Uh, don't like those either. You <laughs> take on. your cucumber hand out. How do you like poke bowls? You put your spicy mayo in. You put basically nothing in your bowl. Yeah. And you shake it all about. You make the hokey poke bowl and you turn yourself around. This is fun. That's what poke is about. And that's the uh, original uh, number one recipe. Oh, that's it? Yeah, now you can add some extras. Yeah, the just as you, as we please. Yeah, as you wish. Maybe with a little flair if you like want. These oranges. But I don't have the lyrics for that. And some of these yellows. So, oh, oh I greens. see what kind of poke bowl guy you are. You're the fruit guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I got some oranges and some mangoes. Oh, it <laughs> I mean, it's it's a poke bowl with the blood flowing. Poke poke bowl, delicious, delicious dimension. dimension. Now, in our universe, Lunchables are a fun and fast way to feed your kids so, lunch. So convenient. But in another universe, they decided that the fun doesn't stop just because you've grown up into an adult. That's why that universe has adult Lunchables. Adult Lunchables. And as you can see, we've brought back the strip club edition of adult Lunchables. They contain dollar bills, body butter, Chicken strips. Ah, strips. And Jack Daniels. Now, I just want to clarify, and Stevie can attest to this because she was with us. We didn't actually go into the strip club there. It's just we went into a club there, and it just. That's just what they do with the clubs there. I mean, this universe has got a different thing going on, y'all. We were there and back. Just, whoa, that's a strong smell. It smells kind of skanky. Smells just like the club. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Is that the dollar what? bills that stink? I don't know what is going on there. What is that stink? Woo. Uh, <laughs> okay. Is, it, is this a common question <laughs> in a strip club? I don't know. <laughs> what is, do you, do you want to uh, eat a dollar bill? Stink. Sure. <laughs> what is the dipping sauce? Uh, body, body butter. butter. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? Free edible underwear. It's but that's a little oh. gift certificate, and then you know. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Chase made sure he picked okay, those here. up. Do you want to step in one leg at a time, or do you want me to go with both at the? All right, I, 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 I can get it. Okay. And then this is. Yeah, you got to be careful, especially when you're a big man. Okay. Get your chair out of the way. Oops. There we go. Just a... Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay. The back's the best part. Okay. All right. Uh, Sorry about your chair. I didn't. I didn't want people to to miss the proper angles on your. Would you like a sweet tart? No, I wouldn't. But uh, you know, it almost feels like you're wearing you nothing at all. Oh yeah. Chicken strip and body butter. Uh, it's the funky smell. Yeah. I don't. You know what? I think body butter. I think I can just go there in my memories. I don't know if I have to, uh, <laughs> if, I, if I actually have to experience this. I will say though, this isn't the only thing we picked up. We actually also got Launchables, uh, Adult Launchables, recently divorced edition. This What's one in features uh, Oscar Mayer lean turkey, Craft uh, American cheese product, okay. crackers, and gummy worms. Oh, you might be wondering, uh, isn't that just what's in a regular Lunchables? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Recently you know, divorced. Get so the, the convenience of, I mean, the funky smell, uh, maybe I can overlook that. I think the convenience goes goes a long way. I mean, you, well, you can hold it in one hand. So I, I'm, I, I think this is probably a good idea. Well, here's the thing though. I feel I'm opening a regular Lunchables in order to dissipate or overcome the smell of the adult Lunchables. And that's saying a lot. When you're opening Lunchables to co uh, cover up smells. All right, good point. Adult Lunchables. Snack invention. Again, we want to thank you so much for making us part of your daily routine and for sticking by us all 2020. Yes, and we're going to see you again next week for our top five GMM episodes. And January 11th, 2021, we'll be back with the season 19 premiere. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Sydney. And I'm Rose. We're in Vail, Oregon. And we're voting McLaughlin. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. I knew painting that on that building would pay off one day. <laughs> you got one vote. Thank you for your vote. For nothing. <laughs>
Click the top link to watch us play Catch the Fish with Granddad in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. All right, so now we're gonna take all that gravy. Yes, please. If I were watching this on my work computer, I would clear my browser history.